In this video, I'm gonna share with you a tutorial on how to tape tubular tires to a rim, which comes off the back of this recent lightweight Factor 02 van build that was built up by Jay Taylor at Taylor Cycles in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. While there are definitely some skeptics out there in terms of taping versus gluing on tires, I'm keen to assess things for myself, which I'll share with you in future content in terms of riding experience. And as far as convenience goes, you'll see for yourself today just how easy Jay Taylor runs us through the process using this 3M tape, not sponsored, just telling you what it is, which came with the Caden wheels. This tape comes in sizes 20 and 24 millimeter in width and rolls are 12 meters in length, giving you plenty of rim tape for multiple changes. See links below, let's get into it. So what I do with this is I, I like to get as close to the valve hole as I can. I always put a little nick in it here. Just give us a little tiny bit of a shape. Doesn't matter how neat it is, that'll loose. Find the valve hole. And then we start That's off. Get in there. You just want to make sure it's going to come on quite straight from the get go. It's got a deep groove in the middle, so just give it a bit of a, a decent push in the middle. It's just saying that you can't, can't really rush. Is it as effective? Um, it definitely is from what I've seen. Um, a rim like this with such a deep groove should really hold the tire quite well. You don't need, need to worry about that middle line because the, the tire is going to push it in quite hard. Pull quite hard so it's going to go nice and straight. So with your right arm there, you're pulling hard. Mm, giving it a good pull. MacGyver would definitely use some kind of tape. Back up. Let's, let's, you know, we go a little bit off here. Oh, whoops. We can just give it a gentle pull. Oh, okay. Like that and then yeah. pull it nice and tight. Yep. Yeah. So here you go. Oh, yeah. You know, you don't want to get close to the finish and start rushing things. Always cut just a little bit extra off. Yeah. And then you can sort of give it a cut across there, which is going to be very close. And then you can also nick there. And then push him down. Mm. And that's very neat and close. You're not going to have any loose spot on the tire, any movement. Now what I'll do is I'll get a cloth of some sort, microfibers just slide around real easy and I'll just really give it a good, get really good stick down. Next important bit, we want to get the tire prepared now. So this is ready to go. Um, we don't want to go much more over 20, 30 PSI. You can give the tire just a bit of a stretch get a li little bit more pliable. I always find they just go on so much easier with a little bit of a stretch. Yeah. This is an extremely important bit because if you, uh, the right wheel <laughs> yeah, will help this bad boy here. If you stick it on, you're not gonna be able to get the tape off. You get the tire on and yes. all be lovely. So what we wanna do, get the tape. Just be very careful not to peel the, the uh, like that. And so all we're gonna do is fold that over like that. So we get this through where we want it. Make sure the valve's straight. Now we want to pull down on the tire, really stretching it and work your way down. Really keep hold of that tire. Now this is the best bit about, if you've glued this in, glued this on, you've got not a lot of time to get it straight. You start moving around, you've got glue popping out of everywhere and you've put too much shit on and there's stuff f popping out and flying out everywhere so best thing about tape is not everyone's gonna have a wheel truing stand but if you do what if you don't is there another option stick it in the bike and spin it okay just like this and you can check whether your tire is nice and straight and beaded if i make it out of whack, if you can see it there. The tire's probably gonna be all over the place. There's a line on a tire here that you can see. This line here on the tire. Oh yes. You yep. can go around and make sure that line's gonna be, you will just gently roll the tire and then 
get that line in the, in the same spot and then just check where it is on the other side. Tubby's are never gonna be perfectly center, but you'll know when it's way off. And you can you can even do this. You don't need to do it on a truing stand. You can just you can see see the line moving there that it's exactly where you want it all the way around. You can't see the line popping out on either side. So I will put a little bit more air in it now. You don't want to go any more than probably 80. I'll just have a look. Probably go 60, I'd say. This is the finishing touch. It's this easy. Now you've got that tape that you pulled out earlier. If you didn't pull it out, you got to take the tire off again. Yes. So now it's just gently, very slowly. Going I can it do now. it with a two finger pinch. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, and because you've got plenty of pressure in there now, the tire is not moving. You've really got it. You don't want to pull this way. Mm. You got to pull backwards like this. It's very easy. And this is the finishing bit, which will pop out. And there's that my little cut there. So you know it's come all the way off. Yes. On both ends. And now, this is a bit of a, a trick just to, again, make sure the tire is going to... I find that it really helps the tire run dead center. Just a bit of pressure to make sure it's going where it has to go. And this feels like an extremely light wheel with that special race tire and these super light wheels. And you just get it nice and hard up to 120. And this is another little trick. You're gonna go over bumps. Yep. It's gonna rattle like mad. This is a real old school trick. You just get a little bit of tape like that. Don't put a hole in it because this is what makes the difference is pull it over like that, yep. up like that. It, um, it seals it off like that. No more rattle. So, yep. yep, old trick, been around forever. You can get fancy stickers and all that, but nothing works better than a bit of old uh, Electrical tape, two dollars yeah. fifty for a whole roll. Nice. You could. Um, and that's it. That's ready yeah. to go. Ready to ready to race. Wow. Super duper lightweight. <laughs> <laughs>